from Nice, France. It's the Cube covering .next Conference 2017 Europe. Brought to you by Nutanix. Welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the Cube's live coverage from Nutanix .next in Nice, France. Always love when we get to dig in uh, with some of the practitioners, uh, the users at this conference, because a lot of them have shown up for the, 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 this show. Happy to welcome to the program uh, first time guest, Mohamed Ibrahim, who's the head of IT with Securities and In Investment Company, or SECO, uh, headquartered out of Bahrain. Great Hello, to see you. how are you? Uh, good to see you too. It's really my pleasure to participate and uh, to be here and uh, joining the uh, .next uh, conference. It's actually I'm very lucky to be here. Thank you so much. Yeah, and you, you've been at both of the European shows. Uh, exactly. That yeah, I have attended last uh, last year in Vienna, and that was uh, really good as well. And uh, this year, I really see a very big uh, development and enhancement and uh, difference between uh, this year and last year, which is a very good progress. All right. So so, Mohammed, first, tell us about Seco. How, how long has the company been around? Kind of the the, the breadth of uh, coverage yep. and locations and the like. Yeah, Seco. It's actually it's a, a wholesale bank uh, headquartered in Bahrain, and we are a premier wholesale bank in the region, uh, Middle East and North Africa. Uh, we do business in two different lines, uh, like asset management, because we manage more than uh, one billion US dollar, okay, as asset management and portfolio managers. And we are also a, a, a custodian house, okay? Uh, and the brokerage business, this is uh, one of our main business lines as well, because we are uh, brokers, and we started as a brokers, and now we are a wholesale bank. Uh, our coverage, as I said, is uh, MENA, okay? Middle East and North Africa, and we have our also subsidiary brokerage arm in uh, United Arab Emirates. Uh, it's uh, CQUE. Uh, it's our brokerage arm there, and they are also working uh, in, uh, under our, uh, under CQ. Okay, uh, you, you were telling me seco has been around since 1995. Exactly. Give us a little bit of your background. How long have you been, uh, hey, you know? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, yeah, Seco established in 1995, and uh, I joined Seco in 2007. Okay. And uh, since that time, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Seco. I started as a head of infrastructure, and now I am the head of IT, uh, looking after the whole IT and services in Seco. Okay, uh, maybe explain to us the, the, those roles, infrastructure and IT, and kind of the, 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 the how many people, how many data centers, that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, we have actually uh, one data center, which is uh, the main uh, main site, and we have another data center in the uh, our DR site, that's a recovery site. And uh, yeah, it's very, very sophisticated because uh, we are operating as a bank and we have a core banking system, we have a trading uh, platform, we are serving more than uh, 1,900 customers and our customers are government, pension fund, uh, um, uh, high worth net individuals, uh, corporates. So uh, we have fund managers, this all our customers and this is actually very critical customers for us. Uh, this is mainly, uh, we are in IT, of course, we have a couple of units. We have the infrastructure and application. I was uh, actually entitled for the infrastructure, looking after the uh, platform, uh, security, network. And uh, recently, from a couple of years back, uh, I have been uh, uh, promoted to be the head of IT and looking after the applications as well as the infrastructure. Great. Uh, so you and you've got security under your preview, which I have to yeah. imagine is yeah. uh, taking a lot of time and budget these days. Uh, uh, exactly. <laughs> this is actually it was a very again uh, critical uh, task and a critical uh, position because uh, handling the security it was really uh, important for the business and for our data and our confidentiality. Uh, so uh, it was really a good practice and a good experience and now we are actually enhancing more in our information security policy because as you know cybersecurity is one of the important topics especially when you go to the digitalization and this is our main purpose and our main target is to do digitalization automation and enhancing this domain plus ensuring the security is very uh, uh, standard very high level matching the whole expectations from the regulator as well as the worldwide standards yeah, to, brought up a great point, Mohammed. There, I want you to explain to our audience what does digitization mean to Seco. <laughs> uh, for for us, uh, digitalization is actually it's more than uh, giving uh, online services uh, automation. Okay, for our services as well, uh, make it easy because you know 
uh, the wholesale bank, it's uh, actually have different line of services and getting into access to your data, to your portfolio, managing your orders, uh, placing your orders, getting your positions, getting your cash statements. This is all actually transferring your cash. Uh, this is all something that it's very important for the customer. And uh, uh, in, in many places, uh, um, even in the Gulf, even in the area, it happens manually, okay? So we are trying to be more automated, more smart, Okay, so, and this is, a, for us, is the digitalization in the, in the time being. Okay, so let's dig into your, your the part of your job, but your old job too, the infrastructure itself. What's the role of infrastructure when you're doing the digitalization? You've probably gone through some transformations there. You know, if you can tell us a little bit about kind of what it was like, uh, and you know, kind of what led to, you know, where, where, where you are and where you're going. Yep. Yeah, oh, uh, mainly this is a very uh, important question actually, and uh, I, I love to answer it because when I joined Seco, it was a traditional infrastructure. Yani, as uh, many people did, okay, it's a physical implementation. You have servers, you have network switches. Okay, so it was a very traditional, and uh, this was actually the challenge uh, is to move Seco from the traditional way of the infrastructure into very uh, 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 simple way and very uh, uh, standard way allowing you to grow, allowing you to add more applications, allowing you to really develop and focus more on the functionalities other than infrastructure. And this is, uh, since you have also have limited time, or, or limited uh, resources in, in terms of IT resources. So you need really to think about a simple infrastructure, giving you the functionalities you expect, giving you the stability, the uh, data resiliency, and as well as giving you the opportunity to add more sort of critical applications on top of that. Okay, so I, I have to imagine in your time, virtualization played a, a role in this, and uh, w when, yeah. di when did you know kind of Nutanix come into the picture? Uh, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, uh, Nutanix came into the picture when we decided to go with uh, uh, our online trading platform, SQL Live. Uh, SQL Live, it's actually a very important and a critical product for us because it allows our customers to get the direct market access. And we are currently online with seven markets and we are going for the globe as well because we are planning to go for Europe and US markets. So to build this kind of critical system, you have to have a, a cloud. You have to think about virtualization because again, following the traditional implementation of uh, infrastructure, it will not help you and it will take a long, long time, and it will be very complex in terms of administration and support. For this reason, we have to add actually our uh, private cloud, because again, you will stuck with the regulator if you go with the public cloud. If you tell him I'm going for the public cloud, he will tell you it's uh, again, it's the confidentiality, you cannot take the customer and the information and put it somewhere. So we said, okay, we will go for our private cloud, and this was a challenge. We need a hyper-convergent infrastructure. We need infrastructure that is smart enough to be uh, hosting all our VMs uh, with a central monitoring, central uh, sort of administration, and easy as well. Mm. So uh, we have compared actually a couple of, uh, more than a couple of solutions uh, around the world, okay? And Nutanix was one of the uh, proposed solutions coming to us. And we have uh, done a very uh, يعني, sophisticated vendor selection, and I think we have taken the uh, right decision when we have selected the Nutanix to be uh, our infrastructure for a trading platform. Yeah, so before I get into the Nutanix a little bit more, some people when they hear, I, I've built a private cloud, they'll say, well, uh, you virtualized some environment, you did some things. What were your internal requirements? What makes it a cloud versus, you know, just okay? I, you know, I've automated some things or I've, I've done some things. You know, yeah. I, 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 did did you have certain criteria that you went through, or yeah. you know, what what did you do, and you know, how do you feel? Kind of, did you benchmark yourselves against the public cloud uh, from kind of the, the 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 usage and the agility, or you know, yeah. how, how do you sort that out? Uh, uh, again, it, it's very, uh, it's very important a question because this is, was a strategy when I joined Seco from the beginning. Uh, as I said, we have, uh, uh, or we had actually a traditional infrastructure, and the market and the standards was ahead actually. So you have to bring Seco infrastructure into the standards. Traditional in infrastructure it doesn't give you the facility to grow and to add more sort of systems. It's very difficult. So this was actually the criteria and the requirements from our side. We need to have a simple infrastructure where we can add additional servers seamlessly. Yes. We can grow, we can expand, we can add more resources without 
rebuilding the whole infrastructure because a physical implementation, if you're stuck with the capacity, you have to shut down the server, bring a new server, do another implementation, bring everybody involved to do the new implementation. But with the virtualization, it's easy. It's a virtual server. It's a data. You take it somewhere. You host just only you need to provide the uh, infrastructure that can host it. And with the Nutanix or with the hyper-convergent infrastructure, you can, whenever you need additional resources, you can add resources and you can keep your application running as is, you can keep your data as is, and without interrupting the business, without interrupting the operation, and without interrupting customers as well. And this was actually the uh, criteria when we selected and when we decided to go with the hybrid, uh, our uh, hyper-convergent infrastructure. Okay, that, that's great. Do you have any metrics as to kind of, you know, operations or how many headcount you have working on things? What, what's been the impact of deploying Nutanix? This is Nutanix? what we have done, actually. I, mean, I, I told you, we did uh, uh, like a vendor selection, okay? And we compared uh, uh, two different vendors, and actually, uh, to be more honest, four vendors, actually, uh, monitoring and developing and uh, uh, comparing different technologies. Okay, so if we go with the traditional infrastructure and the implementation, how it will go in terms of support, in terms of implementation, timelines, the cost, uh, post implementation, uh, support, okay, even with the converged infrastructure, because I remember in that time we had the converged infrastructure where some people like well-known companies were talking about converged infrastructure and we had the hyper-converged infrastructure solution, which is actually was a very new into the market. Uh, for this reason, we had taken, I think, a decision where everybody said, Muhammad and Siku, you, I think you are taking a very, uh, 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 what you can say, it's a very, uh, uh, new decision. It's yeah. something that it's you say it's risky. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Some people consider it a little bit risky because you are doing something is still not yet. Many people did it, especially in the uh, financial services and the banking sector. Yeah. But as I told you, it was a challenge that you had to take and you had to go through because you have to have your own private cloud. Why? Because you have to host whatever VMs you need. Okay. You, whenever you need to add a VM, it will be very easy for you. Whenever you want to expand, it will be also easy for you. And with your resources, current IT resources, you can still handle these sophisticated systems and the critical systems. And this was a challenge because again, uh, you cannot, uh, every time you implement a new system, you add to payroll additional resources and you hire more resources. The business will be killed. Yeah, well, something I, I've heard lots from financial markets these days is, you know, the business is changing, so you need to have the agility to be able to respond and, and deliver uh, yeah. what you need, and if you and don't make honest, a change, yes. And I, I, I will you know. tell you frankly, speaking, now the management and the business decision makers, they look to the IT that they have a buttons. Yeah. When I tell you something, you should press the button and bring it to me. Okay. They don't actually think about how much sophisticated your system has uh, 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 already in the background, so they don't care about the technicality. They care more about the functionality and the deliverables. Yeah. But IT is, is very now challenging, and the decision makers and the IT management and the technical resources, they have a very uh, challenge, very high challenge that whenever they get a requirements, the, and a lot of priorities are coming from the business, they have to be always ready. So if you don't have a simple and uh, uh, a proper infrastructure that can really flexible, help you achieve all of these kind of deliverables, then you will stuck. And people will look at you like you are in, uh, 19th uh, century. Yeah. So uh, we have, we are now in uh, 91. We are growing. We have to grow. We have to be very fast, like others. Yeah. So it sounds like you're saying Nutanix provides the easy button uh, for the infrastructure. Uh, from my experience and from the implementation we have done, I think uh, Nutanix, uh, with our uh, systems, uh, could really achieve our target. And uh, we could really uh, implement the trading platform in a very uh, uh, good uh, uh, time, uh, as we expected, even less. Okay, and we could really uh, do this kind of performance. We could uh, really uh, achieve the deliverables as we expected. Uh, we have more than expected performance. We have the right uh, choice in terms of expansion. Uh, we have also good support from Nutanix, which is uh, really uh, helping a lot in terms of critical systems because it's a 24 by seven. Uh, I cannot actually afford uh, 
couple of minutes even downtime it's a markets i'm accessing the markets so i'm placing orders and these orders are money and if the customer while placing the order his order did not reach the market okay because of the system he will kill us okay so <laughs> exactly this is how much uh, and it, actually it's a seconds because the price in the market is changing and the, the customer is placing the order so if i did not give the, him the very stable platform that he can really place the order into the market with this moment and then it got delayed then he will lose money okay then he I, and i will lose the customer and i will lose the business for this season it's a very critical and it's very important to have such a simple flexible uh, yeah, reliable uh, solution for your system Mohammed Ibrahim, really appreciate the updates on what Seco has been doing. Thank, Thank you so much, much. And, and, and best of luck. We'll be back with lots more programming here Thank you from so the much. Cube's coverage of Nutanix.next. I'm Stu Miniman, you're watching theCUBE.